whoever picks up the ball becomes the attacking team, again has to complete their six passes. Once they complete their six passes, we then want the attacking team to then break up the court and get the ball to the halfway line for them to score their points. Five, right, they're going to break out. Six, what are we doing to stop this? Halfway, got to get it to halfway. We're starting to think about holding them there for six passes, maybe. Okay, do we relent and let them pass three times and then shut them down? Do we all fall back in here One. and try and pick them off here? So it's Two, up to the guys to have three, some kind of strategy. Four, five, six. So did we recognise that somebody over there just completely stopped defending and they just went through? Right, what are we doing, Reds? Think One, about it. That's two passes. Three, three. passes. Where are we going to position ourselves? Four. Four. Five. Six. six. What six. are we doing? What happened to the player that broke? Yeah, so they broke straight away and were able to get what we call driving ball. So when we get to four or five passes in here, we might need to start thinking about what are we going to do with our players? What were the Aussies doing in ter terms of where they were positioning themselves? Were they in front of them, allowing them to get driving ball, or were they sitting behind and forcing them where? What were they doing? Think back to the video. They were forcing them wide and they were forcing them high. They certainly, because we haven't got any back defenders at the moment, were being in front and allowing the Kiwi to get driving ball. Last time, so whoever's on defence, let's think about that. One, think about when we get two, to four or three. five passes, what we might do. Yes, That's good. Nice Back to the corners. That's two points, Blues, because you intercepted the ball. Great stuff. Go. One, two, three, four, Where are five. you keeping them? Where are you keeping them? Oh, allow them to get driving ball again. Let's go, last one. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're using it for defence. You could turn it on its head and use it for attack in terms of options coming out from the attack, yeah? In that instance, you might do it in the mid-court and break towards the circle. We obviously did it from there because we're going to break out. Again, we keep that on that, let them run for three or four points, talk about it. We might take them back out to a skill, put them back in it. We might actually show them the video again because I think that could have been useful. Because, I don't know if you noticed, but fatigue, they've completely forgotten about the video. So we might show them that. We might draw draw the setup on the on the whiteboard for them to do